Hey guys, it's Jasmine's Arch, aka Jasmine, and I am your brow expert. I have been doing eyebrows for 20 years, so I've seen quite a bit of eyebrows, and I'm still cur currently working at the salon, so please come by, get your brows done, or just say hello. So today, I'm just gonna talk quickly about all our brow products. Anastasia Beverly Hills has quite a bit of products, and if you guys don't already know, we have your powders, you have your pencils, you have your brow pomades, we have your brow pen. Gosh, we're even freezing eyebrows now, so just about anything you can think about eyebrows, we have, okay? So I just want to quickly go over the products that I get asked a lot by clients. So maybe this might be for you. Maybe you've had this question, what brow product should I use? What is the best for me? What is your favorite product? Well, they're all my favorite products. Of course, they are my favorite products depending on what the look I'm going for. So just quickly, I'm gonna show you guys the, the pencils. The pencils are great because they're quick, easy, and you just have to, I don't know, if you guys have a, a lot of your own hair and you have a few gaps, then you just grab the pencil, scratch in that little gap, and you're done, right? And so I am gonna show you why a pencil is a good idea, especially for, for the beginners out there. We have your traditional brow pencil, your brow definer, which the lead is much wider, as you can see. And then we have your brow whiz, which is still our very, very popular pencil. Why is it popular? Because it rolls up, very convenient, easy to travel, and it's really thin and small, so you can just kind of get in there and scratch some color in your eyebrow, especially for those of you that have your own full eyebrow. Why do you want a perfect brow pencil? This is our original, it's been with us from the beginning. And why would you want a traditional brow pencil? I like this guy, I love this pencil because it's really for everybody. It's for the ones that are trying to learn how to draw in your eyebrows, but you don't want that heavy, dark pencil look. This is actually really nice because the consistency is nice and not too soft, but it's just in that kind of dry, soft, in the, right in the middle so you can work with it. And so if you tend to be a little heavy handed, but you like a pencil, this can be a little bit more forgiving because it's not gonna go on too hard and it's a lot easier to control. It gives you that more of a powdery look. So this is the guide to use. If you're looking for something that you're just wanting to quickly draw in your eyebrows and you don't want it too heavy, you want that powdery look, that's the guy. And you're gonna notice that with all the pencils that we have and the brushes, they all have that spoolie brush in the end because you always want to kind of scratch over the eyebrow, the color, it tones everything down. And it also kind of scratches off any mistakes that, that you might make, because I make them still. <laughs> Okay, so the powder. Who is the powder? Well, you know what? Let me still stay with the pencil because I just explained to you what the, what the brow uh, pencil that you sharpen, what that was good for. Who was that uh, good for? So the brow whiz is, again, good for those little small areas. It's very easy to travel with because it's retractable. The brow definer is also retractable. Who is right? Who would want, who would want to use this guy? Well, I say everybody, but really, it's for those people that really want kind of a deeper look. It's not as um, it's not as uh, medium dryness as our um, perfect brow pencil. It's a bit softer, so when you apply it, it it goes on pretty quickly and it can go on a little dark, but that's okay because again, you have that spoolie brush and you can just kind of tone it down by uh, by uh, scratching over it. And I like the angle of the brow definer because you can also just do these little light hair strokes this way. If you just hold it up, you get kind of a, a thicker, fuller hair stroke, but it's really easy to use. And also you can do this kind of upside down windshield wiper because again, it's more of a flat, wider, wider lead. And again, you can, you know, it's, it, you can travel with this, right? Because you don't have to sharpen it. There's, there's no mess to it. So that's why I like that guy. Okay, so the powder, who is the powder for? It's really for those people that, I mean, it's for beginner, me, immediate, or very, very advanced brow artists out there. But I like the powder because it's also very forgiving. You just use a brush and you want that light powdery look. Our powders are great because it's that kind of two-tone powder. You got the light and the dark one. The light color is always nice to use up in the front, the darker towards the end, so that way you get that kind of ombre look. Or you can uh, put uh, rub the brush back and forth and you get that kind of mid-tone color. 
And the brush is nice because you could just kind of press the color on there and you just brush it, brush the color, even on your own hair. Now, for those of you that have a lot of um, eyebrow hair, but you just need that depth, a little bit of darkness. The powder is great because you just grab the brush, just brush over the hair and it just darkens up the hair a little bit and gives you that shape. So many things you can use for the powder. So also we have the brow pomade, which people love as well because it's for, typically you would think it's, more, it's for more of an advanced uh, brow person. And it can because for people that have never uh, used brow products to draw on your eyebrows, I wouldn't really recommend the brow pomade because it can be uh, intense, can be intimidating at first, but if you get it down, it's great. Now on another show, I'll talk about, or I'll show you guys, not talk about, I'll show you guys how to use these products, how to apply it. And so that's on another another time. But what's great about the pomade is it's waterproof, it stays on really well. And with the correct brush, and you guys, gonna, um, you guys should use one brush for the pomade and another brush for the powder because I like to keep one brush that's always gonna be a little wet or creamy and the other brush just to be nice and dry, right? So have at least two on hand so that way you guys can uh, switch it up. And with Anastasia, we I don't have all the brushes here, but we do have different types of angle brushes. The 7B angle brush is really nice for the powder. And we have even thinner and sharper brushes for the brow pomade. The pomade is, again, really good for those of you that want a brow color that lasts all day. You don't need to worry about it coming off. And if you want something really intense, this is the guy to use. Okay, and lastly, the brow pen. The pen's great because it's got that kind of sharp tip here so if you just apply some color right at the edge you get this kind of wispy now i'm going to do something crazy just so that you guys can see how i'm going to go really outside the line so you guys can see how quickly this can give you these little wispy hair strokes that's a lot of fun isn't it and if you lay it really flat just you can get it really intense like that sharp dark look in the ends if you want that Okay, that's the more dramatic look right there. Okay, so there you go. The brow pen is good for anybody again, but if you really want to try out those little hair strokes and you think you got the chops, this is the guy to use. And honestly, um, I have all the products on my eyebrows because I wanted to show you guys what it can look like. And I do have the, the brow pomade, the cream right up in the front as the hair stroke, but you can and you can use a few of these brow products together as well. So for those of you that want that light powdery look, use the powder, but you want just a little bit more depth, then use a brow whisk together. You put the powder on and you want to do a little bit of hair strokes over that, you can use the powder as the background. So again, so I hope you guys watch this and said, okay, well, you know what? I like the pe pencil and that's why I, um, I'm gonna stick with that or let me try the pomade or the powder. So I hope this answers your question. Please subscribe so you guys can get the latest tips. And if you have any comments, please, please write them down so I can um, answer them. Until next time, I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.